So this is why XQC, this is like why XQC got so mad. You're actually like, you are an incel creator and you are part of the 1% of like women that like incels use against other guys. It's like, women will try to do this one, blah, 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 blah. Like you are the archetype that the incels complain about. And you are so, such a horrible, disgusting. What is the title of this video? Oh XQC no, <laughs> what are you doing? C and adept oh. play the what's this word is that is that newlywed game message from adept's lawyer XQC. this is adept's lawyer I'm sending this message to you to remind you that the mclaren isn't yours bucko also how do you get exclusive use of not one but two cars $200,000 cars. Oh my God. She's having This suit is brought to you by Samantha Lopez, who is adept, the best petitioner. The last three numbers of her social, we don't care. We don't dox people over here. I never will, never have. And her husband, Felix Lingale, okay? People think this is, this is lightly, but this is major remember he's worth nine million dollars nine million dollars and one of the biggest streamers in twitch not to mention we'll check out his monthly earnings and you see how much he's making so you automatically know samantha lopez whether true or not has a vested financial interest in proving that they're married and we're gonna go over what it takes to prove that they're married because it's not as cut and dry as you think okay so this is the address blocked out. We don't care about that. Um, what happened? There's uh, the parties are immediately bound to basically this standard uh, temporary restraining order. Okay, standard temporary restraining order, and we're gonna look at it. And basically, it's in every divorce in Texas for one reason or another. It may be outlined in here like Exhibit A, but or it could be written out like it was in JDFs. So marriage, August 25th, 2020 to October 31st, 2022. That's going to be important. October 31st, 2022. And they cease to live together as spouses on or about that day. All right. What's so important about spouses, right? Let's go to JDF. Let's go to JDF because I, I brought this in for reference, okay? The parties were married, this is the JDF one, married on or about May 17th and have ceased to live together as husband and wife. You see the difference? You instantly see husband and wife, we were married on this date. Um, their marriage date is August 25th, 2020. And that's very specific, right? That's very specific, very specific, okay? Grounds for divorce. The marriage has become insupportable because of discord or conflict of personalities between her and him. Fair, fine, fine. We're not getting, we're not getting along. All right, there is no child born or adopted of this marriage and she is not pregnant. That's very crucial because you don't want to get divorced and she's pregnant and now you're looking at child support 18 years out the gate. Okay? All right. Uh, Dust said, if a girl gets with you when uh, you only have $20, that might be a good one. Uh, I'm going to respectfully disagree from personal experience. All right. Um, where are we at? Okay. This is important. This huge yellow part is important. Petitioner requests the court that the trial on merits to grant the following permanent injunctions. Okay. Respondent, which is XQC, will be prohibited. Enjoined is the fancy word from prohibited. Um, um, to take in any steps to talk, stalk, harass, threaten, or otherwise intimidate petitioner, including to, but not limited to discussing the litigation on any social network profile, including, but not limited to his Twitch stream or YouTube account. So basically let's get divorced. And I don't want you talking about the divorce on your Twitch. I don't want you talking about it on your YouTube. Now, you would think like, well, why, why would you not want him to talk about the divorce on his Twitch or YouTube? Why, why would that be? You know, me, I talk to y'all about my divorce pretty much all the time, but it's a very specific reason you would want to silence him for not talking about the divorce on his platforms, 
or directing any followers on any social network platforms to use harassing language to communicate with the other party, threaten the party, or take unlawful action against the party. So what you see on Twitch is, let's just say I'm beefing with Dust Productions, right? I'll say, hey, everybody, go on uh, Dust Productions channel and put HR, put HR in the comments. You know, we gonna, we gonna bomb his chat, okay? That's That would get you banned on YouTube um i mean on twitch probably on youtube too i would never do that all right attorney's fees you know what she wants to affect equitable the division of the estate of the parties and as part of the division judgment for attorney's fees expenses and costs through trial and appeal should be granted against xqc in favor of the petitioner so now not only is she trying to bust down your nine million dollar empire she wants you to pay her lawyer fees okay and of course, it wouldn't be Texas without some good old prayers to the prayers to the judge, because in divorce court, the judge is God. Okay. Petitioner says that the citation and notice issues are required by law to grant the divorce. So she's hoping for a divorce. Um, that they grant a hearing for a temporary injunction. Um, basically telling him that STFU, you know, shut up. I don't know if you guys will get into this, but so this is basically like some evil level shit. What um, Adept is trying to do, I think, I'm not a lawyer, so your mileage may vary on this statement, but I think what Adept is trying to do is she's trying to make the argument that her and XQC probably met the requirements or should have met the requirements for common law marriage. So she's trying to file for a divorce now because when she gets divorced from XQC, she's going to be entitled to some sum of his assets that were accumulated during the duration of the marriage. That's what she's trying to do. Gold digging, unironically. <clears throat> Imagine if I lived with a girl for three years and then we broke up and then out of nowhere, she starts going to the court and she's petitioning like, hey, we broke up. Can we get a divorce? Um, and you're like, well, I didn't marry you. And it's like, no, nah, I think we were common law married because if, if you can file for the divorce, then it seems like you have the marriage, which means you can go after the assets. That's what, so this is why XQC, this is like why XQC got so f mad um, in, in a few ways because, um, He's not really allowed to talk about it because of this order, so he can't say much. And everybody is assuming that he's a f moron because, like, why the f get married to her? This is horrible. And um, people are upset about uh, people are upset that he got married, but he can't talk about it or say anything. And then this is and and then the question is like, well, how could you file for a divorce if you didn't get married? And it's like, well, this is how cause she's trying to prove um, she's trying to prove common law basically. Is she legally allowed to do this? Yeah. I think legally it's fine. I, and I, I would even support the idea if she truly was, um, if she truly was doing uh, like common law mar marital duties and shit, sure. But I don't think that's what happened here. She's just trying to be a scumbag fuck. Who thinks he got married, LaMeo? Murka, I'm impressed by your ability to consistently type just the dumbest things that I've ever seen in my chat room. Like, congratulations. This is the first I've ever heard of common law marriage. How does that happen? Is this a California thing? Uh, common law marriage exists throughout the United States. Basically, if you've been cohabitating with somebody for a certain period of time, especially if you've got children, um, there are things that can basically qualify you for saying like, you know what? We're basically married. Yeah, we never had the ceremony. Yeah, we never filed the paperwork, but we're essentially married. And that entitles you to certain rights and protections um, by being married. But that's essentially what common law marriage is. But there's, there's going to be different. Some states don't have common law marriage, I don't think. Like, everybody treats it a little differently. So just, yeah, you have to look up your own shit there. And that the final hearing, the court will enter a permanent injunction in joining the respondent uh, in conformity with all the allegations in this petition set forth. Praise for attorney. Yeah, one of the things that's a little scary for XQC, and I don't know how true this is, but I think there was a YouTube video a long time ago of Adept saying the way that she got back into the United States from Canada was by saying that her and XQC were married. And if that's an on the record statement that they can pull from, I don't know if that would impact things or not, but if so, that seems a little spooky if that is the case, but. Attorney freeze pay for general relief. Okay, so that's the groundwork. And I know y'all wondering like, what, wh how do we know if she's married or not? So let's look at, remember, I'm gonna break this down for you guys the same way I did parental alienation. And I see we got uh, 25,000 people in here. Can I just get five likes or two likes? <laughs> but let's let's go over. How's your husband? Hey All guys, right. just a quick PSA here. Um, you Sorry. do know that if you live in the state of Texas, you can happened. be married without even knowing it, right? Oh. Yes, that's entirely true. It's what's called a common law marriage. Now, for a common
All right, so we got common law marriage in the state of Texas, okay? You can be married without noticing, and he's going to break down the criteria, and then we're going to go over it, and then I'm going to show you the undeniable evidence, and then we'll put a poll up, and you're going to tell me if he married, and then we'll skedaddle up out of here. Common law marriage to be proven, you usually need three elements. One, you I am... Uh-oh. Hey, guys, just a quick... Did the Sorry, agreement to be married? One... You need to live together. All right, so first thing is you have to live together in order to be married. Two, there needs to be an agreement to be married. And three, you need to hold each other out as husband and wife. All right, so three things you need. One, you have to live together. Two, an agreement to get married. And three, present yourselves as husband and wife. Now he's about to further break it down for you guys. So you see you know, how we're gonna go about providing this evidence for you. Now at this point, you're probably wondering, well, how can I prove if someone agreed to be married to me or held out that I was a husband and wife? Well, that can be done with what's called circumstantial evidence. Anything that you can use to prove that there was some sort of agreement or you held each other out as husband and wife can be used. Uh, certain things such as co-signing leases as spouses. That's major, co-signing the leases as spouses. Okay, you know, if they put like relationship married, and they say husband, wife, you could use that in the court and say, look, he presented me as his wife, so that $9 million he's making, I should be entitled to it. That's uh, where that immigration statement comes in, which is, I think, pretty spooky, but maybe it's nothing. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not it, so, but. I'm putting each other down for insurance benefit purposes as spouses. Maybe you have friends who can attest that you all called each other husband and wife. Any of these things can be used in court to prove that you all had an informal marriage. And just like a normal formal marriage in the state of Texas, a common law marriage still requires a formal divorce. That's correct. If someone can prove that they were informally or common law married to you, you still need to go file for a divorce. Like if you had a whole right, wedding, seeing what's you had a whole reception, just like everyone else. Now, if you guys have any other questions about any other area of Texas law, please like, comment, let me know what else you guys want to know more about. All right. So hey guys, just a quick peek. Um, we get, we, we have, we have our criteria. All right. We have our criteria for what is considered marriage and what is considered not. All right. Let's go check the evidence that I've pre pre presented that I've provided. So how long were they together? Let's share this tab real quick. Fair use to, uh, whoever they are. From the things that were not self-inflicted. Okay. Okay. Hassan, Hassan's tweet, oh, right? Sure. You're, Jesus. You're talking about that's when Hassan criticized you or what else happened with Hassan? Yeah, I mean, I mean, just, just Hassan was, had easy cookie points. They're having a general argument about whatever. We don't even care. Look, look at this video, hour and 20 minutes. We don't care. We're looking for one specific thing. We want to see the duration of the marriage. And, you know. I mean, I, I know how good he is at, at getting getting a free fucking uh, apple when he can, right? When it's in reach, and he he just said you know, that um, I uh, was not going, and when I should have been going. And mind you, this will be used against him in court. That's why she's like, hey, you can't delete any. Okay, serious question. Put yourself in a depth position. I know it's extremely shitty, but you have a shot to get a lot of money. She has to go for it, right? Um, I mean, if you can, I mean, it's the same as like, if you have the opportunity to steal a whole bunch of shit and you want to get like rich doing it, you can. But I mean, like, hopefully you have no respect for the rest of your life. You have no friends, nobody likes you. And you're contributing to some of the worst shit that has ever been done, like in the history of the United States. Like you're actually like, you are an incel creator and you are part of the 1% of like women that like incels use against other guys. It's like, women will try to do this horrible thing shit against you and blah, 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 blah. Like you are the archetype that the incels complain about. And you are so, such a horrible, disgusting person. Um, now, let me qualify the out of that, okay? Because I believe in alimony. I think alimony can be justified. If it was the case that Adept was using, uh, or that Adept was foregoing a whole bunch of career development, a whole bunch of personal growth, and she was spending a significant portion of her time enabling XQC to do the work that he does, then... I would probably say, you know what? I think Adept is, is entitled to a little bit of that. I think she should get a little bit, because fuck it, because XQC wouldn't have been able to be the streamer he was if he didn't have a wife to take care of the house. Now, the problem, from what I've seen, and I could be wrong, the problem 
is that it doesn't really seem like a dev did that. Um, I don't know if like cleaning the house doesn't count, right? You're not a housewife if you don't have a fucking kid, okay? You're a maid, all right? A bang maid, right? Um, just cleaning the house, paying for a maid, um, just like getting somebody food, I don't think entitles you to millions of dollars. Uh, XQC could have very easily Uber Eats. He could have fucking paid Uber, Uber Eats. I don't know the past tense of that. He could have very easily paid for, um, you know, a maid to come clean the house. Like that's not worth millions of dollars in my opinion. Um, but it, uh, I mean, oh, XQC had a maid also. Yeah, so like, I, I don't agree with that. And it seems like Adept was trying to stream and build a career and Arguably, she probably benefited financially more from that relationship than XQC did um, because she got to be on, on probably the largest show that she was ever on was probably that Real Housewives of Twitch show, which came because she was with XQC, right? Um, so, yeah, I don't know. You think? But I also said on stream, and I said publicly, that the event was gonna be bad it's why I didn't go. And I've never said that. And that, that, that was him, a way for him to farm free cloud and free free internet points. And it fucked me yeah. over. And everybody jumped on the train about that. And it added gamble into that. And it added, and they started filling all the boxes that Al stacked against me. All these assumptions and shit. I think stacked against me. Yes, that was I don't know, man. I think she was doing his taxes and managing his finances. Uh... I don't know how the, I'm gonna be careful here. I don't know how the courts use this, but in my mind, the emotional, the, I'm sorry, the philosophical justification for things like alimony comes in when you are significantly positively contributing to your partner's life, right? Um, so like for, when I think of my kid's mom, Rachel, right? And I think of like all of the stuff that I bought her a car, I paid 100% of the house, I still do. When I think of these things, in my mind, I want my son to be taken care of. I don't want my son to live with a poor woman whose like life is fucked. So in my mind, that exchange is worth it. I'm streaming full time. I spend all of my time streaming, but the only reason why I'm enabled to stream full time and have my son taken care of is if his mom is taken care of too, right? When children are involved, I think things like alimony become incredibly reasonable because the woman is often sacrificing a whole bunch of her life to take care of the child, right? And if the woman wasn't doing that, the guy either has to pay for daycare or he has to take time off work. When no children are present, in my mind, I think it becomes really hard to justify alimony. Like doing taxes, it costs 500 bucks to pay somebody to do your taxes. A maid, it's 100 bucks a week or something, if that, to, to do a maid work. Like Uber Eats gets you food. Like what is the service that's being provided here that's entitling you to potentially millions of dollars? I don't believe it, I just don't buy it. But that's, that's me. The first day we had explained for- This is the type of stuff that makes me worried for XQC. Um, on the first day, we had explained for two hours how we're reuniting as um, through common law. That's the thing. That's what the Canadian government that. allows. We've been living together for two years, so at this point, we're considered. Um, I, yeah, I did kind of have to unleash my inner Karen, and let me explain why. Because the very first second I go up there and I scan my passport to to like to get in. Yeah, that's how I felt the whole time, but I scanned- So if she's using common law marriage to get in through immigration, oof, that's a rough one. Um, my passport and the lady goes, oh, you're American? And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, you're not allowed to travel to Canada. And I'm like, you're not gonna ask, you're, that's the only question you're gonna ask me before you declare that. You know what I mean? I'm like, there, there's exceptions. <laughs> please, please. Okay, so, you know, I'm like, okay, don't be one of the Karens. Don't be one of the Karens in the videos. You know, like we don't gotta go there. But I was like, Ugh. Okay, so I just looked at her like, okay, well, first of all. Yeah, but in Canada, right? How's that relevant in the United States? Well, because the US has to let you in. The US is fucking literal Hitler shit when it comes to immigration, okay? Dude, in Europe, they don't give a fuck if you if your passport's stamped. They don't care if you're coming in with fucking bombs on the plane. They don't care if you just fucking, you just flew from fucking North Korea to Iran to whatever. You go to Portugal and they're like, hey, come hang out. Fly into your, hey, in the EU. Oh, cool, base or whatever. Bro, in the United States, you fucking walk in with your priest collar, with your $50 million bribe, and they're like, we need to talk to you. We need to look at your fucking cell phone. Did you fucking tweet a joke about fucking Kim Jong-un? three fucking years ago, we need to pull you aside into interrogation and we need to talk to you about every fucking thought that like, US immigration is fucking insane, okay? Um, United States is wild. Uh, Destiny, she did it the other way around to get into Canada. Um, I thought this was her explanation for coming back to the United States. Regardless, there's gonna be immigration somewhere that has like noted her as like being common law married, 
right? Like that's, um, whether it's Canada or the United States, somewhere is going to be noted as like your common law marriage. I don't know if Canada is as strict getting into it or not, but. What was the pressure? How was it for Melina? We've had to sit sometimes for like two hours in a fucking room where they like tell us why she's not gonna be allowed back in there. It's fucking, it's insane. The United States is just insane when it comes to immigration shit. It's a wild, wild, wild world. That was not self inflicted. That was not my fault. That was self inflicted. That ended up being purposeful dog shit against me. That these pressures, they add up. These, these are things that, that, that stack against me. And uh, what, what do you do about that? I won't point. All right. So basically, he, like, the pressure was people were coming at me and she wanted him to keep the breakup private. That's all she wanted. Hey, keep the breakup private. He caved to his subscribers. He said it. She's about to confirm the duration of the, the, the relationship and then we're going to go to the next piece of evidence. Wait, it's upsetting. I, I have to find a way out. Exactly, a way out, a scapegoat. And that is exactly what you that's did everything for. Okay, don't, don't do that. That is what you just said. Don't do that. A way out is okay. an escape okay. code. You, you jump. I'm not going to do this in front of your stream where, again, this is don't, 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 don't say that. I, I'm okay. <laughs> Careful. I'm about to do a lot of bullshit conjecture because I don't know. I truly don't know. Just random questions. Okay. When she says that you're looking for a way out or a scapegoat, I wonder if she already had the plan here to do that common law shit. And when she's saying you're looking for a way out, I wonder if what she means is you're looking for a way to dissolve the marriage at fault, um, which I think means what you can do is you can say, I got, um, I dissolved this marriage because somebody was uh, unfaithful or because some partner did something really fucked. Because if that's the case, then um, there is no alimony or child support or anything like that paid, right? You're just fucked because you fucked up. Um, but that's this is like that's a lot of conjecture. I don't know any of that. She maybe she she, she could also just be me like, oh, you just want to get out without like you know breaking up or saying I love you. I don't know, right? It could be anything. So that's like that's like uh, I'm in like conspiracy territory. That is a conspiracy. I'm I'm alleging one. If the, if that was to be the case, so I don't know what the chances are of that. But are you using secret information from XQC that we don't know about? Um, no, actually, XQC and I don't talk much about that as well. He told me that he was a little frustrated that people were jumping to conclusions and shit. I think he might have even met me without knowing the full story, but um, I don't talk to him about this stuff at all. The reason why, actually, funnily enough, the reason why I didn't usually talk about this at all is because I am, I like, I'm trying to be respectful of XQC and Adept, mainly XQC, so I don't want to like say a lot because it looks really bad for Adept, but if that's like XQC's fucking girlfriend and shit, I'm not gonna sit and rail on somebody that's not really relevant to anything. Like, why the fuck would I do that? I don't need to do that. But if they fucking hate each other, <laughs> and I can speak a little bit more freely on things, um, then I will say this looks uh, pretty pretty scumbaggy. It looks pretty shitty, uh, Adapter, but you know. Victimizing yourself. You were victimizing yourself to your stream. Okay, sorry, I wasn't a victim of anything then. I, I, you know what, dude? You know, dude? Uh, uh, Hassan is a good guy, and that because he loves me. He's such a good guy. Who cares? He, he Who came cares? into the bus again, and she's literally about to trap him into admit into how long they were together. You know, and all the internet that was ready, all the fucking people that are starving for drama, all the people that are all the zombies looking for for a good fresh brain. Just right? like you did. He just th like he you did threw with them our a very bone, personal right? breakup. But he's just a good like guy for it. With our very he's a good personal breakup, just like you did. Four and a half year relationship, real fucking nasty events that led to a breakup. Just Wait, hold on. To how long they were together. You know, and all the internet that was ready, all the fucking people that are starving for drama, all the people that are, all the zombies looking for, for a good fresh brain, just right? Just like you did. He just like he you did threw with them our a very bone, personal right? breakup. But he's just a good like guy for it. With our very he's a good personal breakup. Oh. Just like you did. Four and a half year relationship, real fucking nasty events that led to a breakup, just like you did. And I don't like to, I, I also don't like to comment on this because I just don't follow this much. So I could be wrong. Um, I could be wrong, but I, I feel like Adept was so much more public with everything than XQC was. Uh, I, I, you know, maybe I'll see clips that change my mind on that, or maybe I'm just wrong because I didn't follow it enough, but it felt like Adept was so much more public with everything. Um, yeah, so I don't, I don't know. I just don't, I don't buy this. Uh, she like she did that like XQC brought up something like 20, 30 seconds, but I feel like because Adapter said something first and then, um, and then XQC mentions it and then HDMI does like a fucking four hour stream on things. And I'm like, okay, uh, whatever. I still found a way to make right, my- boom. She got oh. him right there, four and a half. And then also, fucking DVI is showing up at his door to fucking pound shit in the middle of fucking stream. It's like, what are we doing here? Like, this is some, now you're on some crazy college girl shit. When you're pounding on somebody's fucking door and you're trying to scream to get in, like when you know he's streaming, it's like, what are we talking about here, dude? I don't know half breakup and he didn't deny it okay so what's our next piece of evidence 
Let's see. Can we prove based on what they posted? Hold on. My food's here. One sec. online if they live together or not y'all can we prove it can we prove it can he did he snitch on himself and say hey yes we live together all right when was the first time did somebody tell us i just tweeted about it i just told you when we okay all right we pulled up to the Burbank studios today. i'm speeding it up just because i want y'all to get to it i want y'all to get to the content and then look we all are investigators, kind of like y'all are the jury, but Bruh, I, they were roommates. Okay, chill. I want to present the evidence. We can saw the criteria. Now let's get to the evidence. Destiny's definitely screwed because he admits to being married to Mel all the time. Me and Melina are legally married. We went to a courthouse a year ago. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, of course I admit to being married to her. I was like, we literally, I was like, it's today, December 6th. This is the first time we met in this building on this day four years ago. Boom. That's two, that's two sources of information that they've met four years ago, okay? Four years ago, it solidified, did they live together? That's what, look, if I'm her attorney, I'm like, hey, uh, do you got proof y'all live together? She's like, yeah, uh, we, got, we got a confession on, on stream. And the attorney like, all right, can you show it to me? She's like, sure, here, here, watch this. Hey, do I ask you how, how we met? You give me like a new, a new, a new time. No, it's not. That, the first time we ever met in person is that day. But the reason why we never talked about it previously is because we don't like to mention uh, the, in the other clip you mentioned that you were with a girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't like to talk about all that shit. But he was not dating this girl. <laughs> I don't want to say too much because it was weird. All right. So basically, she's like, I don't want to talk about when I met you, you were dating another girl. And then we're about to get a bombshell confession from her. But they weren't dating. And it wasn't Kim. I don't know why you guys keep saying that. That's just stupid. But yeah, I wasn't dating. No, we. we, we and you met casually in Overwatch, um, the previous yeah, I was there with people, and they were like, oh, this is a TV, I used to see this, they like, different at the time. Boom. Hey, I met this guy that I'm married to. This is not about proving common law marriage. California does not recognize common law. Why do you guys keep saying California? Didn't they live in Texas? I don't know why everyone on my chat keeps saying California. Am I missing something? But when I met him, I had a boyfriend at the time. What is this? Why did she drop her boyfriend? Why do you think? Why do you think? Do you think her boyfriend was a millionaire like XQC is? Probably not. Did you? Yeah. Sure this is there. some incel shit. I'm pretty sure he was there. What? I don't... So it was like nothing. It was just like, oh, hey. Okay. I know you from Overwatch. <laughs> They're pretty poor to see me both. And then um, later on, New Year's Day, again. So went, went to the vault. December 6th is the first time we met. But then New Year's is when he realized that he was going to love me forever. All right. <laughs> New Year's is when he realized he was gonna love me forever. I don't, I don't buy that, but I think what happened on New Year's, I think we all can agree. What do you think happened on New Year's Eve? What do people, what do couples typically do on New Year's Eve after they celebrate the New Year? The vault, right? Yeah, and then at the vault. No kidding. Like it, it, it was a club inside of a vault that they that they, that they redone and like um, redesigned in a club. And this guy, I, th I think this guy feels like he's some like major detective coming through and breaking some huge story. But like, I don't think he realizes like everybody knows who these people are. And we've seen like thousands of hours of their lives on stream. I don't know why he's acting like he's like uncovering like, the lost city of Atlantis. Like, guys, I got some big news for you. I think Adept and XQC might have lived together. I can find like one clip of them admitting it. Like, <laughs> what do you, bro? Yeah, we know. Thanks. Aware. <clears throat> not after music and people that I've, that I've ever come across and I just realized that that's just how LA is just really, really just trash. Is this Ask for y'all. We actually talked about this a couple months ago. Um, there we we were like somewhere, and he saw a dress, and he was like, "Oh, this is like the dress that you wore that day." Who so cares? Know that that day. That so just because that day stood out to you doesn't mean it was the day we first met. But yeah, but I, I knew you were not great though. Oh, here he caught her out on it. He caught her out on it. Did y'all hear that? I knew you wanted to upgrade though. Like he he's aware of his, I guess, um, him being uh, financially superior to her ex boyfriend. I, I suppose. I mean, of course, but um, it's a very long story. I don't even think I'll ever get full. But he had, you know. Let me fast forward this. Yeah, you do that. There's also a cringe because, like, 
I'm pretty sure XQC and Adept liked each other. I don't think that it was like Adept in the very beginning was like, I'm gonna get all this money, blah, blah, blah. Also, I don't even know how much money XQC had three years ago or four years ago when they fucking met. <clears throat> He's still a relatively new streamer, isn't he? I could be wrong on that, but. Okay, it was pre and barbecue. Hello, text, go but smile. we did the zoo thing, which was like just basically our first date. Yeah, yeah. It may, actually, I think it may have been the same day. Yeah, yeah. You, you guys saw it. I Anybody karaoke? I'm saying a bunch of cool songs. No. Sorry, we did karaoke together, and there, then he came to my brother's house. We all like chicken We in the car and we talked for like five hours, and then I was like, okay, I guess he's like kind of cute. So it took a while to-, to Like, let's be honest, four years ago, <clears throat> do you really think there's going to be a great financial future trying to get with a fucking Winston main? <laughs> Come on, guys. You that you weren't just here some boy of the week. All right, now look, what do you think? This guy's a millionaire under 30. You think she was putting up too much of a fight? It took a while. I had to really believe it. Um, but what, what really got me is he started singing Dua Lipa. He had never heard the song before. And it's a song where it's like, uh, I see the moon, I see the moon. Oh, and you're looking at the sun. And he was just reading the lyrics off the screen, but he was singing it perfectly in harmony with like how Dua Lipa sings the song. And it was really cute. And then we were singing a bunch of karaoke songs with the whole group. And then that's when, that's when I realized that I could give him a chance. Real okay. And then, and then, and then we went on the Z date. And then, and then, okay, here we go. Place, right. I was going to get, but then they told me somebody had died in my all right, let me let me let me slow it down. Let me get you out to regular speed because this is evidence. Okay, I want you guys to hear it clearly what both parties are saying. And for some strange reason, my my internet is jumping. Then, uh, we'll give you a new one. So they gave me a new apartment, and I went to the new apartment. And a couple a couple a couple weeks in, um, the police raided me. Yeah. And nowhere to go. So uh, I sent her a text, and she can't pick me up. And then. Uh, well, yeah. The first the first time. All right. So. He gets raided because he gets doxxed a lot. And, you know, FBI be knocking on his door, people doxing him. He had to move out. He got his own apartment. He gets doxxed. He hits her up. And what do you think happened? Nothing happened. Um, I... Destiny didn't know that Winston is one of the harder tanks to play well. Listen, don't do the cope here, okay? It's already bad enough when support players do it, when healers do it. But people that play tanks, like, oh, the DPS doesn't know how hard it is on Reinhardt to shield in the right direction. And, and Winston actually, like, if you don't time, you're, uh, it's actually really, get the fuck out of here, okay? Either play DPS or you suck. Full stop. End of discussion, okay? We don't need those. We don't need fucking support players here talking about how their role is actually the hardest fucking thing in the world. Get the fuck out of here, okay? Immediately drove back to his apartment because I lived like 30 minutes away or some shit. I went to his apartment and... I was like, is everything okay? You good? Blah, blah, blah. I actually helped him pick out almost everything for that apartment, too. I helped him get, like, just this little utensils and shit so he could live. Um, and then it happened again a week later or whatever. And then that's when I told him, I was like, Felix, I already, I already talked to my parents about it. Because by then we were pretty much dating. And I was like, Felix, I already talked to my... Oh, no, we were dating because he came to my house a couple times. He went to my parents... Okay. okay, okay, we get it. You were dating. Let's get to let's get to the evidence. Let's get to the confession. A hundred dollars. So this this was the other part of the test, right? He paid like over a hundred dollars and went in the Uber for like over an hour to get to my house, to my parents' house. It wasn't a hundred. It was like a hundred forty-one dollars for sure. Yeah, I said over a hundred. Come okay. on. And so I was like, wow, if he's willing to really go through all that, then you know, obviously he's not just gonna be the boy of the week. Like, he really means business. Little did she know, or little did he know, that they were about to, this was the beginning of the common law marriage trap. So, <laughs> yeah, he says 141, like you're- I don't think she was trying to trap him in the beginning. That's, now that's too far. That's ultra conspiratorial. No shot. I don't believe that. <clears throat> Remembered. Um, and so I was like, okay, and then, and then, did I drive you home or did you Uber home? Come on. I Ubered home too. Yeah, I Ubered yeah, home the next Ubered day. Yeah, home too. And then- um, I fell asleep in the car, he woke me up when I got home. Yeah. And then, so a couple weeks had passed, the swatting stuff happened. So we were already dating by that point. And then I was like, Felix, my parents said you could just live with us. Like you can have that whole part of the house right there. That's all you, just like, you know, whatever you whatever you want to do, if you want to come live with us, you're good to live with us. And then we lived together ever since. We Boom! Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? 
they've been living together ever since. Shortly yeah. after Dayton, shortly after New Year's, been dating ever since. Yeah, we know, Chief. Now, I'm not going to speculate, but that is the beginning of the trap. Okay, we, we, we know that, hey, they had to be living together. We know that they had to... Um, uh, conduct themselves as hub, husband and wife and he had to tell her they were going to get married now let's fast forward let's take a little break and let's look at her temporary restraining order that was granted after she after she shortly filed let's make it bigger let's see let's see what they got her for let's see um let's see what's going on guys and we still gonna do our poll at the end we probably got like 10 more 15 minutes left and we'll go through this. I'm so happy to have a quick one. Um, all right, so this is the temporary restraining order. This is shortly, this is two days after she filed and the judge just granted it. Um, so he can't delete any data or content from any social network or platform used created by either party. Uh, taking any steps to harass her, talk about it on Twitch or YouTube. Mm. Remember, I'm not a lawyer, so I could be fucking retarded in everything I say. But when that that whole of like you're not allowed to delete anything, that makes it seem like a lawyer is combing through a lot of publicly available stuff for evidence of that common law marriage. Damn. I'm coming at this a lot from I'm coming at this a lot from like personally, morally, philosophically. I don't think that I don't think that you could justify like alimony or whatever bullshit or like a big lump sum payment um, after divorce if there's no kids involved. Because like, what is the woman doing? What is she actually giving up? Or the guy, depending on who's staying at home. Um, however, with respect to the law, common law marriage might be easy to argue. I don't know. I'm not sure. And if she does argue it and they do divorce, my understanding is, is that all of the assets accrued while married are considered property of the joining the husband and the wife. So when they separate, they have a right to divvy up those assets post divorce based on the assets that were accrued while married. If that, I'm not a lawyer, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm just saying it a million times. But if that was the case, it would suck if the past like three or four years of XQC's earnings, or at least what's left of them <clears throat> after Gamba, um, are like potentially a, 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 a token for them to fight over in some divorce court. That would be like Control F subchapter E. Subchapter E Marriage without formalities. This is for Texas. Proof of informal marriage. In a judicial, administrative, or other proceeding, the marriage of a man and a woman may be proved by evidence that one, a declaration of the marriage has been signed, as provided in this subchapter, or, not and, or, the man and woman agreed to be married, and after the agreement, they lived together in the state as husband and wife, and they're represented to others that they were married. So the represented to others arguably could be met by the um, <clears throat> immigration stuff. I hope XQC never talked about marriage with adept. Oof. If he does, Adept would have those logs. But hopefully, XQC never said something like, oh yeah, like, you know, we'll probably get married, or I'm sure we'll be married at some point, or joked about like getting married or whatever. Um, if he made those jokes and they continued to live together. <clears throat> Isn't this career suicide for Adapter? How does she win it all by doing this? Uh, she has no career, so she has nothing to lose. <laughs> the dangerous types of motherfuckers to fuck with. Um, if a proceeding in which a marriage is to be proved, as provided by subsection A, uh, part two, is not commenced before the second anniversary of the date on which the parties separated and ceased living together, if a proceeding in which a marriage is to be proved is not commenced, uh, it is rebuttably presumed that the parties did not enter into an agreement to be married. So she has, basically, I think this means she has like a two year time limit uh, to, to do her Hail Mary meme shit, but. <clears throat> okay. And this is the restraining order. This is their court date on November 29th, 2022. At 9 a.m., yada yada yada, it was granted. Now let's let's go to some more evidence. Let's go to some more evidence. What is the name 
of this. No, actually, we going we gonna go to what happened. We gonna go to what happened. So th- he was streaming one night after he signed a temporary restraining order that they agreed upon, and she popped up at the house, and then we gonna look at the temporary restraining order. Okay, I'm going to translate. So he's streaming three o'clock in the morning. She come up, banging on the door. <laughs> let me in. Let me in. DVI time. And let's see what happens. The next time I'm back, I will call the police. You're violating the court order. I have full authority to a card. So we're talking about a debit card. I have full authority to the card based off the court order that we agreed upon. I need you to give it back to me now. Now he asked her to leave. She popped up. It's three o'clock in the morning, right? What's at stake? He's worth $9 million, $9 million. So people like, oh, well, they just had a bad breakup. No, no, no. They had a bad breakup. (laughs) If she could pull off, if she could prove that he was married, she gets half of everything he generated in that uh, marriage date, divorce date time. Yes. So when people are like, hey, this is just the two couples breaking up, like it is so much bigger than that. It's so big. I'll tell you. iPad telling XQC he's violating court order. Thanks, TikTok voice. Disregard the music, y'all. Sorry about that. No, no problem, dude. It's we just love part it. of the clip. Absolutely. You locked me out of the account for the car that I have full authority to. Okay. I hope on that card, I hope that's not a card that they signed up for at Chase or Wells Fargo or some shit where they said they were married. I, I'm just going to say this. I don't know why I say this because fucking morons on LSF are still going to fucking say, Destiny's talking out of his area of expertise, which I I don't know. I'm just saying. Um, My guess is going to be that if you're trying to prove common law marriage, I'm going to go ahead and guess that showing a co-mingling of finances is probably a really big part of that. If you're paying for other people's bills, if you're paying bills together, if you've got joint bank accounts, if you've got joint credit cards, if you've got joint debit cards, I bet that that goes pretty far in proving um, the metal of the relationship. That'd be my guess. Um, but now also here, I think she said car and not card. She might've been talking about the Tesla that, it, that she got locked out of too. So it might be a car or card here, but it could, it could apply the same to cars as well. Anything you're buying is joint property like makes it seem my guess is it's going to go further to show that yeah these guys are married they bought cars together they signed leases together they put in their relationship they were husband and wife they they did all this shit you know that or that would be a depth argument in court i would imagine can you change the password back so what's happening basically it was a credit card he cut her off allegedly and she showed up like hey i need money on this card this card is not working what's going on I think she's referring to the Tesla here. Not a, it's a car, not a card. I think kind of a weird future where you can password protect a car and lock somebody out of it. But I think that's what happened. Can you get out? I'm losing my mind. Why are you locking me out of the password? Like, look, I guarantee you, she's recording this whole conversation. Now, look, what he's doing is actually. I would say I, he he really didn't engage with her. Hey, I'll, I'm going to close the door. Basically, you got to go. All right. How does she go to his place to work with the restraining order? I don't know. That my guess would be that's a violation of the restraining order, but I don't I don't know. <clears throat> now he's saying he lost the password, and she's like, "Stop lying." I had the password, we both agree. A possible good argument for the car in X's favor would be the fact that he doesn't have a license, so it had to be under both names on the registration. If she's with, how does that, that sounds like a worse argument, right? That sounds like something a wife would say. 
oh yeah, we bought the car together. I don't drive. My husband drives me, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I think I feel like that'd be a bad. Now again, I don't know if this argument would ever be used, but I'm just saying that that sounds like a relationship thing to me. That sounds like a husband wife thing. Like oh yeah, my husband drives. I don't have a license. But I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe they don't use these arguments in court. I don't know. Maybe this shit never comes up. Maybe a judge shoots this down. Anti-slap or something? I don't think so, because they've already got more motion. I don't even know what anti-slap would apply here. I don't know why I even said that. All right. So. Ad-pad telling ad- We saw that, right? He addressed it the next... He addressed it, like, the next day. About what people saw something, and are now speculating about what it means. And the problem is that they don't understand how these things work whatsoever i would tell you with 100 percent confidence i am not married i was never married and honestly uh like everyone has been watching this stream for like six years okay know my exact mindset about this that i would probably never get married for the rest of my life okay it's not it's not something that that, that uh that, that interests me i think people do it out of like uh, customs or, or whatever whatever i don't see any value in it okay well dude what about my guess would be at this point it doesn't really matter what xqc says here um when you're talking post-divorce it's way too late at this point hopefully he has made these statements hopefully he's got a defense attorney where these are collected but also i don't think any of these statements will matter that he's made publicly as a streamer if there is a this is this would be my this would be my concern if i was xqc if adept had ever floated the idea privately of them getting married and he seemed to be agreeable to it, and they continued to live together after it, that seems to satisfy one of the major components of the Texas common law marriage, that they, that marriage was on the table, both parties agreed, and they continued to live together after that agreement. So that's gonna be, I think, that's gonna be the thing that either saves him or crucifies him, is if he told Adept privately, she would need evidence of it though, right? Yeah, but everybody talks on Discord. Um, if she's got a Discord log of him saying like, yeah, we'll probably get married or something like that, oof, that's gonna be, dirt nasty what about what about what about okay look he has to say this right this is trying to like hey look guys i was never married but it doesn't matter at never this point. married okay never married uh what are you doing wrong duchess you're not streaming you're not streaming duchess that's what you're doing wrong um and i got twenty one thousand people in here watching xqc and we got the appropriate amount of likes i appreciate y'all all right so he's doing damage control this is it's public now. I'm not the only one covering it. I'm probably the last one covering it, but I want to educate you guys. About the thing that I, that would require you to um, understand how these things work and put two and two together. But I can't do it for you. Also, 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 nobody in this world that walks this earth, not a singular person out there on this existence of humankind has access or usage of any of my fucking accounts, uh, uh, monies, Thanks. No. Uh, I wonder if he was given private counsel here where he was informed on this that like, bro, I hope you guys don't have joint bank accounts because if so, woo, yikes. I wonder if that's what he's trying to like head off here. It's like, whoa, we didn't have any joint bank accounts. We weren't sharing finances. That's some husband and wife shit and we were never married. Oh, buddy. Okay. Okay. So you... <laughs> You see what he's doing. He's doing damage control, guys. That's like, hey, uh, yeah, she showed up saying the car wasn't working, but at the same time, um, no one else has access to my accounts. Okay, so if no one has access to the accounts, right, and you guys are not married, why would you sign a agree temporary orders? Okay, because what people don't know, um, what's at stake right here is, let me X this out. During their marriage, and I'm using marriage loosely, he bought a $320,000 sports car, right? $320,000 sports car. This McLaren uh, 720S Spider. Way much more money than I can afford. It's all over his channel. Um, and guess what? <laughs> Guess what? That's what Adept's going to be leaving the courthouse in. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I hope not. If she can prove that they were married during this time, he will have to do one or two things. Sell the car or give her roughly $150,000, okay? Mind you, in his mind, hey, we just boyfriend... I could be wrong, but like... 
I, I'm talking on my ass again. My guess is if XQC could pay $150,000 to make all this go away, that'd probably be a bargain because my guess is there's a lot more than $150,000 on the table for Adept to be digging for. <clears throat> That's my guess. Girlfriend and girlfriend may be shacking up, okay? We just shacking up. We, yeah, we playing house. But she like, but we, we married. We've been together for four years. We've been pretty much living together for four years. We're not just shacking up. We are husband and wife. And I'm filing for divorce. Oh, I would rather have an 80s Monte Carlo SS dust. I actually want an 85 Monte Carlo uh, SS. But this is what's at stake in addition to his $9 million empire. So we know that they live together. I proved to you that they live together, right? What else you got to do? Conduct yourself as husband and wife. All right. Do you think I have that proof? I, I is Adept filing for common law separation? Uh oh, Abba, leave. Abba, I need you to turn your eyes away. This is like the comic where the little kid is like on the mom and the kid's like, what's that? And she's like, turn away. And then the next panel is the kid has like the whatever the fuck he was looking at. He's like absorbing to that now. <sighs> we might, this might be, this might be the Andrew Tate of our generation, even though Andrew Tate is already the Andrew Tate of our generation, in terms of manufacturing incels, if this goes as Adept would want it to. I don't know, guys. You're gonna have to be the judge. Um, can you see this screen? Can you see this screen? What is the title of this video? Oh XQC no, <laughs> what are you doing? See and Adept oh. play the what's this word is that is that newlywed game no way no way they if y'all are just dating why would you play the newlywed game no way xqc no it's way content. to be fair i'm memeing but like you can you might be able to float a lot of this by a judge is like this is content we don't stream we're not married like we can show like other people have played like the newlywed game and some shit and they're not married or whatever right I, I mean, I, th I feel like you could fight this uh, in court. Or, or, well, you will be fighting this in court. Um. You wouldn't do that. You, it's just a, it's just a TikTok trend, right? It's cool. Everyone's doing. All the kids are doing it. Uh, fair use to XQC. Let's see what this newlywed game is about. Just like me to start us. Good one, dude. Uh, she pointed at her. <laughs> Eyes open. <laughs> Nice face. Bruh, this is my lawyer. <laughs> Look at my lawyer dog. What is that? You're playing the newlywed game in front of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight. Could these be witnesses? Are these all other I don't see Mary I don't see wedding rings, but they could be common law married. You're playing the newlywed game. I know it's just a game, but tell that to a judge. Tell it. Tell that to a judge who like sixty years old who who never seen TikTok. Say, oh, uh, we was just playing the newlywed game, Your Honor. Uh, the what game? The the newly. But you said you're not married. You told me that you're not married. It's a meme, you dip. It's a meme, Judge. Oh God. <laughs> Imagining XQC in front of the judge. Not good. We don't understand what what, what happened was we, we, we weren't even married. It wasn't even thing. We, we, I, none of the things I even said. You have to even look at my fucking stream and go. There's another. I I, I I made up all these statements. It's like, oh fuck. <laughs> oh no. XQC, stop. How are you playing the newlywed game if you're not married? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. All right, so let's go look at their temporary restraining order. Let's look at it. Because this is the one that they both agreed upon. All right. This is dated December 13th. So they had their hearing. They actually got a hearing today. They actually, that's right. That's right. Damn straight. Got them. Now, that's just two pieces of the puzzle, Duchess. That's just two pieces of the puzzle. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> what? I'm just thinking of stupid shit right now. 
Never mind. See what they agreed on, right? This is he's saying they not husband and wife. Okay. Now no one no one is pulling this. All they doing is showing the court case on YouTube. No one is pulling the actual orders. And they were a little tricky to get, but you know, I got them. So December 13th, after their November 29th hearing. Okay. And what is it? You know, petitioner did not appear in person. Okay. Felix did not appear in person, but agreed. They both agreed. You know why? Why? Because the lawyers spoke to each other. The lawyers said, hey, this is what my client wants. This is what your client wants. Okay. Okay. All right. Jurisdiction. Um, the court, after examining the record and agreement of the parties and hearing the evidence, evidence, whoa, the evidence and argument of counsel finds that all necessary prerequisites of the law have been legally satisfied that the court has jurisdiction over this case of all parties. Holy crap. Holy crap. Well, hold on. Am I wrong? That's that sounds like um that sounds to me like they're just arguing over whether or not adapter has standing to claim common law marriage in the state of Texas. That these legal requirements um, are being met in the state of Texas and they're standing in the state of Texas and the legal requirements have been met to pursue the case there. It doesn't sound like anything has been granted or confirmed or anything. That's what that statement sounded like to me. <sighs> Solistic, what? If you guys are making me click shitty fucking memes in the middle of stream and they're dog shit. Yeah, the shitty meme. Message from a Dub's lawyer. XQC. This is Adap's lawyer sending this message to you to remind you that the McLaren isn't yours, bucko. Also, your last three relationships with the women didn't work out. Maybe try some of those uh, femboys you like so much instead. Get the juice. Hello, X. Jesus. Holy crap. This is scary. Oh. This is getting scary. All right, property and parties. The court finds the following orders respecting the property and parties are necessary and equitable. There is that equitable word, right? It is ordered that the petitioner, which is Sam, shall have exclusive use and possession of the following motor vehicles until further order of the court. <laughs> the BMW X6M. How do you get... How do you get exclusive use of not one, but two cars? $200,000 cars. Oh my God. She's having to call a friend over to fucking get her fucking prize. Jesus. which is a 2022 BMW X6M and a 2019 Tesla. Okay, so that's what she get. What about Felix? What does he get? Um, Uh-oh. Whoa. This, look, people think this is a joke, but this gets kind of serious. All right? It's further ordered that XQC is prohibited from selling, encumbering, or otherwise taking any action to reduce the following properties until further order by the court. Now, look, I'm going to tell you something about this Texas address. It's further ordered that respondent, that's Felix, XQC, is prohibited from moving any sums of money or funds on deposit to any financial institution outside of the U.S. without further order of the court. Because these funds are going to become what they're going to fight over if Texas grants the divorce, which retroactively grants the common law marriage, I would imagine. This is the address I believe Sam used to file the divorce. And this Canada, Canada address, this is his current address in which he resides in. So you are not married, but the court has ordered you not to sell the house that you have in Canada and not to sell the house you have in Texas. Oh, Think and about it. Um, it is further ordered that the respondent is prohibited from moving sums of money or funds um, on deposit to any financial institution 
outside of the United States without further order of this court. So don't try thinking about moving your money to Canada. But he was never married. He was never married. Okay. Well, um, he temporary hopes. injunction. <laughs> um, That's what he's trying to figure basically, out. Basically, these are going to be orders that applies to both of them. Okay. It is ordered that the petitioner and respondent are prohibited from deleting any data or content from any social media platform used or created by either party. Take any steps. This the whole social media language. And what is this? What is this in green? Driving or otherwise using the 2022 McLaren 720S. Like, uh oh, this is bad. This is bad because what? we know he bought this McLaren during their marriage agreement. Okay, so um, we saw. I showed y'all a little bit of proof. I showed y'all this clip right here. They established they were living together. As flimsy as you think this is. This establishes y'all are playing the newlywed game. I know people are gonna be like, well, that was that was May 29th, 2021. It's a meme, you dip. So who cares? It's the newlywed game. It ain't the couple's dating game. It's the newlywed game. Typically played by if I'm her lawyer, it's the newlywed game, Your Honor. And it's typically played by newlyweds who've been married for less than a year. Oh my god, dude. The biggest nightmare for this case, I feel, is like the fucking judge that's presiding over this shit. Because if you've got like a 30-year-old dude or a 30-year-old woman and you're trying to explain like, yeah, it's fucking TikTok shit. We play games, we stream, whatever. That's fine. But I'm trying to imagine you got like some 74-year-old conservative motherfucker looking at you and you've like flown from across the world to live with this girl that you're on record, you know, like playing the newlywed game with and like sharing cars with like that guy's, I feel like the, um, oh, the judge is a young conservative woman. Okay. Maybe different, but Jesus. My client, Samantha was married to XQC and we are entitled to a split of everything, which includes almost certain that a jury decides if the marriage existed. Wait, does this type of stuff ever go to Does this type of stuff ever go to the to jury trial? None of this is um Wait, hold on. I actually don't know this. Do civil matters ever go to jury trial? Because none of this is criminal, right? Ignore retards. Yeah, someone said yeah all the time. Oh, hold on. Huh. Not just anyone. That's a lawyer flare. That's a lawyer flare in chat that you guys are fighting over. It's almost certain that a jury decides that the marriage existed. It's a question of fact. These things go to jury trials all the time. So careful. That guy, is, he's flared up. Okay. That guy is from the DGG Law University. Okay. but not limited to uh, his $9 million net worth. Um, he's worth nine. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine fucking juicers trying to fucking infiltrate the jury? Do you know what XQC is? X XQCs? I, I don't know. <laughs> and then like the fucking, uh, fucking, uh, they try to declare like a mistrial. They're going through like fucking videos on, on jury members' computers and shit trying to prove if they're juicers or not. <clears throat> well, this guy actually was posting about how much they fucking hate Mizkiv on LSF, and it's well known that the Mizkids and the uh, and then the Juicers uh, had a huge rift in their alignment ever since the accusations came up from Trainwrecks, another Gamba streamer. On, like, seeing all of this shit laid out in court would just be fucking hilarious. Nine million dollars, Your Honor, and we don't want all nine million because we wasn't here for all of it, but we entitled to some of it. And we entitled to some of the, the money generated from his streams, okay? And you are adept, and you're just like, oh, what? This is adept. This is her social blade, okay? Let's let's share it. So, uh, where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Give me one second. All right. 
Right. So here's her social blade. She's making $125 to 2K uh, a year. And let's look up XQC. XQC. We're going to do this live. Bro, you're not going to see anything on fucking social um, blade. That's not where even his money is. This ain't XQC. True. This is not uh, XQC. Search. No. All right. Hold on. Social Blade. Oh my God. A movie tier scam. XQC needs to do a CSGO Lotto fucking Gamba rig shit right now, but he needs to contact somebody and then on the back end rig it the other way. Because he could argue it's within the normal line of his work to be doing gambling streams. He kind of has to. Imagine he gets a friend to rig it on the back end so that he's actually losing more often than winning and he gambles all of his money away and then it goes to some site and then like three years later, you know, they clean the money and they slip it to him some other way. That's what he's got to do. XQC. <laughs> You know what you got to do, man. Sorry, guys. XQC. All right, so here's XQC's YouTube. <laughs> I'm imagining him. He's like, he's smashing the spin buttons on his thing. The fucking, the room is shaking because Adept and like three friends are like banging on the fucking door. You're not allowed to do this. You're violating. And he's like fucking smashing the button, trying to gamble away. It's like the hackers movie where you're like trying to like delete the hard drives when the FBI is breaking it. Oh my God. Fuck, this would be such a good scene in a movie. We see he has 2.2 subs million subscribers. True. What the hell is that? Close. And here's his yearly earnings just from YouTube. This doesn't even factor in his Twitch. Uh, let's go back to Twitch. Let's see what Twitch is. And... <sighs> Look at this. We're looking. Fifth rank in followers. Wow. Seventh rank in views. Wow. I think he's number one in uh, stream time. Wow. And you know this comes with subscriptions. They don't break it down. But he's worth $9 million. So now let's do the poll. Uh, someone says she's clever as hell. She is clever as hell. Okay? Um, because it's not just are we married. This is potentially a million-dollar relationship. How many of you women here, to my mods, have dated a guy, broke up, and walked away with a million dollars? Or a thousand dollars? Or ten dollars? Or anything for your time? So, um, now, as it's one thing I didn't show, I didn't, I intentionally didn't bring it up. What? It didn't come up. What? What? Did he say he was going to marry her? Oh, yeah. That's I the... think we all know, even if it's a text message, and he said, hey... I'm going to marry you or hey, and she, and look, and she's smart. She's not an idiot. All you got to say is really, are you going to marry me? Yeah, babe, I am going to marry you. Yeah. Okay. When? I don't know. Soon. You fit the criteria. So uh, look, we're going to start this poll and we're going to do it quick. Uh, and it's going to be two options. If you can't say yes without a shadow of a doubt, just say no. Are they married? And since it's like 17 of y'all, y'all from the JDF gang, I will give y'all some insider information at the industry. Oh, you don't have insider probably information, bro. I'd probably have like 100 people, 200 people in here. But, uh-oh, someone does say get a prenuptial agreement. Okay, so let's ask the community, were they married? Like I said, if you can't say yes based on the evidence I presented, say no. All right, and someone say get a prenup. Okay, that's um, the jury right here. Good. Uh oh. But at the same time, you're still banking on someone else saying that your prenup is valid. So what happens if you go through, you do, you do the right thing, you get the prenup, like Dust said, and you know the lead attorney will tell you, well, you got the six, the three components. She got a lawyer, you got a lawyer, and it's signed in front of a judge and notarized, and it's fair. Okay, great. But you're still inviting the state into your life. Um, Dr. Dre had a prenup. What did she do? She challenged it. She challenged it. She said, oh, is this one of those guys that's like you should never, ever get married because all women are fucking scammers? Hey, uh, yeah, we got a prenup, but is it valid? Is it is it is it fair? Um, who else got a prenup? Uh, TMR, you know, the woman who said she graduated from marriage. Guess what her husband's saying? Is it valid? Is it fair? 
And if it is fair, can you establish what's our marital property or not? But if you never get a prenup, you never have to worry about someone asking you, is it fair? Is it valid? But, you know, if you are going to get married, please get a prenup. I'd rather you have some, a modicum of protection than no protection. Because what's going on with me? I've been separated for almost two years. And I filed it for divorce 16 months after our separation. And my ex-wife is... All he said was that prenups aren't airtight, you dumbass. That's not what he said. What he said was that if you get a prenup, if you do that, you're still inviting the state into your lives. That sounds like a condemnation of the institution of marriage, but I could be wrong. But he also had all that red pill shit playing at the beginning of the stream. And what red pillars often say is that marriage is a scam for men. And then they start going through alimony rates, divorce rates, all all women are trying to get divorces because they're trying to scam men, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's, those are red pill talking points. You might not believe that. That's why I asked. I don't know if he's against marriage completely, but that's... Trying to push the, or soon to be ex-wife, is trying to push my date to... Um, the date the final date of our hearing which is in like may and in doing so you know you know everything that happened since separation you, you know if an investment grew the equity in the house came down and i gained more of it she still gets half of it so i do this for men to learn but what what does our poll say so we got 11 votes and 73 percent of y'all said they're married oh guess shit. what though what it's only one person voting. That's the judge. The judge is going to say, well, I saw the text message. I saw the lease that you signed as husband and wife. I saw y'all play the newlywed game. The lease and the text message, he doesn't know about these. He doesn't know if they actually signed that. He's just guessing right now, by the way. And you telling me that y'all are not married? We're down here in Texas. Uh, we do things a little different than uh, Canada up there. You know, you know, you know how people in Texas feel about Canada. Y'all don't got no firearms. Can't protect yourself. And now you got caught in a hunting trap. <laughs> That's right. XQC hold this L. Woo. And now look, XQC, right? I went to go pull his uh, response. It's sealed. His lawyer sealed his response. She. Uh, some, some Samantha or Adept, her her stuff is public. Anyone can grab it. It's gonna cost you a little bit, but you can grab it. Um, so what do y'all think? I'll drop the link. It's only a couple of y'all, so we we cool, we cool. These streams are good. They're a little good. Why do you guys do these stupid memes? <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> A little chill i don't see no jdf trolls um y'all are here um i got locals coming up i'm hiring people classy beats out here he got his podcast um i'm waiting up. for the insider information um, this guy said he had let me invite like it's not gonna come through come up and talk about common law marriage i saw someone post about the story about the guy who had a, a girlfriend for three years and she hit him with palimony and it happens so 67% saying, yeah, they married. I wish I had a, for this one, a bigger audience would be probably better. Um, but anyway, let's talk JDF. Since I'll, I got 18 people here, I can share y'all the, the privileged information. Well, not okay. all of it, but what some information that's coming out tomorrow. Oh, wait, is this about like, his divorce or something? Uh, we talked about my troll. Because I don't give a fuck about it. I got super trolls in my email, y'all. Super trolls. I, now, I don't care about this guy. Well, good luck. Mr. Lord Destiny, how much does court of public opinion affect the case, if at all? I have no idea. I imagine you're trying to argue with everything, right? 